In the last lecture, we were talking about how you can add your own domain name to your Shopify store so that your shop is not running under the .myshopify.com domain. In this lecture, I want to talk more about the customer emails. The customer emails are the emails that your customers receive from the store. If you have your own domain name, then you definitely don't want your customers to receive mails from at myshopify.com or emails from your Gmail address and so on. You actually want your customers to receive emails, for example, from sales at mydomain.com or info at mydomain.com or whatever, but not from a generic email address. This also gives you the opportunity to get in touch with your customers. If they need anything, they can just answer to the emails. And it's a lot less friction if they need anything from you. In order to get the customer's emails working, there are several steps involved. One of them is first of all to set up your store to send out these customer emails with the right domain. If you go to your settings on the left side navigation and then to the channel settings, you find on the top the store details. In the store details, you have the store name and the account email. The account email is the email address that Shopify will use to send information directly to you as the shop owner. So that's fine if you use your generic email address here. And the customer email address is the email address that Shopify will put inside if they send emails to your customers, for example, order confirmations. And then the customers see that, for example, the order confirmation comes from thomas at shop.fromtom.at instead of a Gmail address or whatever. Now, the problem is that a lot of spam happened in the past few years, and there are some security mechanisms in place to prevent spam. And we have to change some things on our domain configuration in order to make this work so that shop emails that were sent to the customer are not landing in the spam folders. One of the things that a lot of service providers and, and email hosters use is the SPF framework. SPF stands for Sender Policy Framework. If Shopify is sending out an email with an address on your behalf, then the receiving party has no idea if you actually wanted to do this or if you don't. And to make it easier for them to check that, they will look into your domain name and see if Shopify is allowed to send these email addresses. It's like a friend of you sending a letter in your name and then the receiver will ask you or maybe someone in your house if the guy who sent the email or this, the letter was actually allowed to do so. So that's the same, the same idea behind the SPF framework. And in order to make this work, we have to add an SPF record to our domain. I will show you now exactly how to do that with the fast command DNS zone editor. And to do that, we already had opened the Zoom editor in our last lecture, but I will show it to you again. If you go, if you go into the client area and you have uh, the email accounts and everything here, you log into your cPanel, you scroll down a bit and you have the advanced Zoom editor and you want to go to the advanced one. The simple one is not helping here. You open the advanced one. You select the domain and you add a text record. And that's again, pretty much the same as probably in any Zoom editor I saw across the internet. But the point is you have the record type text. You go to help.shopify.com and then you go to intro to Shopify initial setup. And here you have the customer email best practices. And here you scroll down a bit. And then you have add Shopify's SPF record to your domain host. Here you find the exact record that you have to add. And I will copy this part now. Yeah, I will copy this part now. I will go back to my cPanel and I will enter in the text data this part. 
So I will give it a name. And the time to live. And I will add the record. It's here on the bottom. And this record tells anyone who receives an email from at fomtom.it, which was sent from shops.shopify.com, that shops.shopify.com is allowed to send emails on behalf of fomtom.it. So that's very important, or else emails will land in the spam folder and your customers will receive no confirmation emails and no emails from you, and instead will be very worried that they get their package or not. There's another tool which helps you to check if the SPF records are set up correctly. When you go to mxtoolbox.com slash spf.aspx, you can enter your domain name, and I entered mine, and I can click on SPF record lookup. It will take a while and then it will show me that my shops.shopify.com is allowed to send emails on my behalf. So with this, I made sure that my customers can receive emails from my domain. The other setting I wanted to show you is the actual notifications. If you go to the channel settings of your store and then to notifications, you see that you can change all of the email templates from your store. I usually don't change them because I'm happy with what Shopify is sending out. But if you ever want to change anything from the order confirmation, shipping confirmation, shipping updates, customer account information, and so on, you can do it from this screen.